them all. Now let's talk for a few minutes about greatness and we'll begin to pray. Because God spoke to me. Most of you have not paid attention to the subject of greatness. Nor have we been taught the necessity. Greatness is very powerful. To 2019 or 2020 I think. Around the period of my birthday. Usually I would take out time to just pray and ask the Lord to give me a prophetic word for the next season of my life. And God gave me this scripture. And there was a striking difference. Striking difference. Between those two, three years of my life. Striking difference. Psalm 71 and verse 21. Please read it as a prophetic word to your life. Ready? One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. One more time. For the last time. What does it mean to be great? To be great means to increase in size. To be great means to increase in size. To be great means to expand beyond your current level. To expand beyond your current level. To be great means to be beyond the ordinary or to be beyond average. To increase in size, to expand beyond your current level. To be great means to be beyond the ordinary or average. When you are above and beyond the ordinary, when you are above average, you are great. What does it mean to be great? To be great means to be important and to be distinguished. That's what it means to be great. To be given a perception of importance and to be distinguished. And the Bible tells us that it is in every believer's destiny in Christ to be great. Greatness is not privy to a group of preachers, a group of businessmen, a group of politicians, a group of professionals. In Christ, everyone is destined for greatness. God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko, will say that there are no low callings in Christ. That everyone has been ordained by God for a high calling. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you. Let's read verse 2 together. Ready? One to read. And I will make of thee a great nation. Uh huh. And I will bless thee. Uh huh. And I will make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. Just stop there. What does it mean to be great? To be great means to rise to a level where your life perpetually becomes and remains a blessing. Write it down. To be great means to rise to a point. To rise to a point in life and destiny where you can become and remain a blessing. In the kingdom, we measure greatness not just by how high you rise, but how massive your impact and your contribution as far as being a blessing is concerned. To be able to rise to a point where you can become and remain a blessing. He said, I will make a great nation of you. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6. A blessing and a prophetic word that God gave Abraham. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, he says. And I will make nations of thee. And kings shall come out of you. Do you believe this? Please hear me, everyone at the sound of my voice. I don't care how you arrived here. By reason of natural descent, I don't care how the things and the happenings around your life, the kinds and levels and the frequency of failure around your life. I'm announcing to you at this miracle service that God still um, destines for you to be great. To rise to a point where you, listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something about greatness. 
greatness is also measured by the degree to which your personal goals have been satisfied that you can now turn and focus on lifting others and being a blessing provided you are still at a realm of meeting your needs and trying to make ends meet you are not great are you getting what i'm telling you now that god desires believers that we rise to a point where god would have sorted us left right and center and now you can have the privilege and the convenience to use your influence your intelligence the anointing of god upon your life and then your resources to now begin to reveal jesus to many around you that's greatness unfortunately not many people are ever able to rise to that level because at best most people keep scrounging around the base of destiny fighting with one another in petty jealousy not knowing that everyone has been destined for a glorious life in christ it doesn't matter what background you came from listen carefully it doesn't matter what has worked or what has not worked in your life male or female old or young there is there is potential for greatness in everyone you know we live in a world where it looks like god particularly hand picked a few people in ministry and pick a few people in business and pick a few people in politics and then the remaining keep cheering and admiring no that can't be god can i tell you this if all of us in this auditorium and around become great in christ it still will not interrupt anything as far as our personal results are concerned do you agree with me question if god grants you the grace to build your house does it affect my house if god grants you the grace to take your children to good schools does it affect any other person no the idea that just a few people should stand out and the rest keep sharing like like a flock like animals is not a it's a very wrong perception about god the bible says great grace was upon every one of them we have a heritage of greatness in christ but can i tell you this it takes the empowerment of the spirit it takes the empowerment of the spirit to lift people like we read in that scripture it is god that makes great if god does not lift you you cannot be lifted listen even principles don't just work on their own it is the power of god that empowers principles to work principles on their own don't just work there is a force from the realm of the spirit that empowers principles i like to give examples with cooking many of us here are good in the kitchen as you cut your ingredients and mix this and mix that according to Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.